Turkish mukbang. Let's do this. Merhaba, everyone, brothers and sisters, as you would say. Today we've got a Turkish mukbang video. Get this to a thousand likes. I got a new video for y'all in two days. Y'all got them disappointed me with the last mukbang. Get sneaks. Today we've got some real Turkish food. Now I am purposely skipped out on a few things at the Turkish place while I was shopping there. As you can see, got them real Turkish cookies. Yes, none of that fake stuff. But real Turkish authentic shop. We've got some. I think Turkish Fanta, even though it's produced in Republic of Czech. Um, I'm pretty sure that the words are Turkish, right? Please let me know down in the comments. God damn it. Uh, this looks really orange compared to our Fanta in the Netherlands. Like, this is, it looks good. I also bought a blue one, but it was fully in Polish. I was like, no. Oh my God, that sounds good. Let's do this. So if you're wondering, oh my God, that looks really, whoa, that looks cool. I've never had Fanta like that. I swear to God, man, never had Fanta like this. got a different taste already yeah i can tell it got a bit of a stronger taste so today we've got some vegetarian pizzas i think some would argue these are lama chuns i think they're called or lachmaha chuns i think one of the two i'm sorry if i butcher the name got some vegetarian ones um this is just called a vegetarian it's a pizza in the netherlands basically go to your local turkish shop you grab one of these uh, with meat dinner whatever you name it and you eat them and i got three of them the thing is, this local place I go to, kid you guys not, man, they always make my food so good. Um, the vegetarian options are really nice there. So let's do this. Uh, hope you guys are ordering well, man. Oh, wow. I love Turkish food, man. It's, you know, I think the main ingredient is love and passion behind the food. Wow, it's like the pancake, but it's not. Um, some would probably argue, oh my god, that looks awful lot like a pancake. It does. It's better than a pancake. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about what I I'm purposely missed. I, as you will know, my Dutch views were automatically, like, oh my god, where's the cups on them? Isn't an actual Turkish thing, it's uh, a Dutch thing. Although they sell it at the Turkish place. I didn't want the whole argument of saying, oh my god, that's not Turkish, bro, that's Dutch. We don't care. Well, you know, I don't have Turkish food often enough because it's too good. I just can't have too much of it. It's so good though. Mm. Let's open this one. And the cheese. They use very interesting cheese. Cheese that I can't find at the store. Or anything that's so good. Thank you. Alright. Oh wow. Good packaging, I like that. Ulker honey mellard. Turkish. Yes, it's vegetarian. Uh, that's one thing you notice with like uh, Turkish food is the sweets, like the, the Haribo, they contain gelatin, but only like um, cow gelatin, nothing pig, because they don't eat pig. Uh, it's not haram, I think. I think it's haram. Uh, with, 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 I think it's haram, I mean, it's not haram, because, you know. Mm. There's something with the cheese, it's so good and amazing. And I'm eating it slower, normally I would eat this in a minute. I can eat this in a minute. But because some people complain about the way I eat, right? I've never had a Turkish cookie. This is the first time in my life. Looks good already. Wham. Well, Coconut. I think I'm correct. I think coconut. Right? Coconut? No. Huh. It tastes like coconut. It tastes really good though. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. 
Man, this makes me so happy Turkish food. I don't know why. Wow, it's really nice, man. The one thing about Turkish food here in the Netherlands, at least, I don't know how it is in Turkey, obviously. I haven't been to Turkey yet. Um, is that when you go to a Turkish store, kid you guys not, there are only Turkish people. I have yet to see uh, a Dutch person working. I think I mentioned it before. Um, my God, it's good, good. God, the cheese is so good, man. The cheese makes it so good. <laughs> it's, I'm not praising it. I'm just saying the food of Turkish people. Turkish people can cook. Right? I'm just keeping it very honest. They can cook. It looks like a wrap. But it doesn't taste like a wrap at all. At least in my opinion, better than a wrap in a taco. A burrito. I mean, I guess you could argue and say this looks like a burrito. I think you can probably say it's it looks like a burrito. But I can assure you this tastes much better than a burrito. I, you can, I swear to God, man, could you guys know? For like five bucks, you can have this thing like three times the size with like chicken in it, beef in it. It's really good. Mmm. Oh, and the, the meat is halal, by the way. Just to let you know for those who don't know. I started so often in my mukbangs, right? But when it comes to Turkish food, I really enjoy my food. It doesn't matter if I eat this a thousand times in a year. For some reason, this food just stays good for me. It doesn't taste the same. That's the weird thing. You may think, but the ingredients are the same. Yeah. yeah, they taste different every time. They taste so unique. And the fact that the cheese makes it so good and melty, that's really what makes it for me as well. Mm. Mm. I have no words. Wow. The Fanta is actually... This I don't get. This was like a thing. This isn't Turkish, but um, this this whole bottle, this bottle design. Um, I read somewhere like a while ago, right? That this is, is oh my god, oh wait, it's poma, pomerang, pomerangs. So wait, this isn't lemon. Um, what is Fanta? F uh, oranges, right? Oh my god, I don't think this is orange, because an orange doesn't look like this. What is it then? Because I already thought like, oh, it's got a different taste already. It looks very orange in the bottle. Because of the orange label. But here it looks a bit more yellow, thick yellow, like bumblebee. God, I don't know if it is orange. Now I think it is orange, but just cut up in pieces. God damn it, what was I talking about? Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Sorry, the food is so good. I, I was talking about that, I think. <laughs> Oh yeah, we we'll think about Turkish space as well. At least mine. So we got like two in the city, right? One in the main center. It doesn't sell the exotic fruits and stuff, right? Just has this kind of food. We go to the other one, like the main one. Oh my god, the amount of fruits they have. Sometimes when you're very lucky, in like certain seasons, um, they sell lychees and they sell dragon fruit. Which, oh my god, dragon fruit, dude! You gotta, you gotta love dragon fruit. It's not your average kind of food. It looks really nice. At least for me, I think it's really nice. It's very juicy and tasty. Sweet. But not everyone likes it. You gotta like it. Wow. Got no words. Never tried a Turkish pizza? Try it out, please. Because you're missing or something. Really, the taste is incredible. Wow.
Incredible. What did it say? You want to buy it? What's the password? Virgin King? Okay. Access granted. There you go. That, that tastes good, huh? Like the garlic is... Well, I've noticed as well. I kid you guys not. I swear to God, man. Um, with the garlic, right? Like, you know you got your local store-bought garlic. That, that crap is, like, very thick. This stuff, I don't know what brand they use or if they make it their own. But it's very thin. Um, it's like I almost want to say it's been mixed with water a little bit. Because it makes it very creamy. It doesn't make it thick where it's like not nice to eat. That's one thing you notice with, with Turkish food as well. Like the sauces are, are good. They're not too thin, they're not too thick. They are perfect for your food. That's what I love about the sauce. Excuse me. I think we gotta we gotta save this one for later. I'm a little bit full already, man. This is big. Imagine if you got one with meat. It's like twice the size. Length is the same. Look at it, one. My God, that was good. Wow. I could definitely screw. Let's try it. I don't care. Mm. I'm doing it. I don't care. One more bite, then we'll stop. Wow. <laughs> that's good. So, I think that's enough. The thing is with the eating too much of this, eventually you're gonna get a stomach ache. Um, the Fanta is very interesting. Uh, that's one thing I've noticed as well. Exotic fence is like the blue one or the pink could you guys know uh, you can buy them at a local store But like the big bottles is pretty difficult to find And the cheap at the Turk 152 euro That's pretty good for imported stuff, eh? Turkish cookies I think I've had these before. I, I, I don't I don't think This is the first time I've had these. I think I've had these before in the mukbang or just me behind a mukbang maybe but I definitely remember and recognize these Tastes a bit like coconut. Oh man, that's good. Really enjoyable. Well yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang video. If you did, get this to 1000 likes. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Later, uh, I, I posted a video on Keegan's Parkers a couple of hours ago. So if you want to go check it out, go check it out. Tomorrow on Keegan's Parkers, we've got a new video coming out. And tomorrow on ASMR Yoga Workout video coming out as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, virgins.